Come on in. Good morning and welcome everyone to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. Uh, consider this another victory for Trans West. Uh, this is a fantastic special order coach that arrived yesterday and we wanted to make it ready as quickly as possible so we can show you this really unusual floor plan. Uh, so welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. My name is Katie O'Neill and we are here looking at a 2022 Ventana. Jody, as usual, go ahead and take her on back. Uh, for those of you who have tuned in many a time, you know you can find us at TTT RV at YouTube. You can find me at uh, RVs Inside Out as well. And if you have any questions on this vehicle uh, during the video presentation, this is a live Facebook presentation and you are more than welcome to chime in. Avin will radio Jody. Jody will ask me the questions and I'll answer them for you live here on Facebook. So thank you so much for coming in today. Uh, first of all, this is a really cool floor plan. So uh, Ventana comes with three different 34 foot 10 inch floor plans. Uh, this is one of those three floor plans. It's a mid bath model. Um, it's really cool. It's a, it's a triple slide with a full wall slide. Um, and it is really, really nice because it's got just a really spectacular kind of a residential feel, very, uh, very homey and with a big fold out couch if you've got company. Just a really, really nice execution overall. Uh, this coach has uh, the Bermuda glazed maple finish uh, cabinets. So this beautiful dark wood finish. I love this. Um, and as you'll note, one of the nice things about these is that you can actually remove these little, uh, little decorations to clean those and put them back on. I've got both of the uh, night lights uh, illuminated here for us. Uh, new for 2022, we have an all lights off switch here underneath where these KIB switches are. Uh, that's a really nice feature for you at night if you want to turn your coach off and you forgot a light perhaps you can just turn it all off from inside there uh, and then up here above the bed you'll notice that we have a few uh, 110 outlets uh, the craftsmanship that we have uh, coming out of Napanee Indiana where Numar is manufactured is fantastic so these solid uh, maple cabinets are really really well made and one of the things that I'll tell you that I've noticed just being in this industry for a while now is there's really no manufacturer that has the level of quality um, both inside and out as a Numar uh, and the cabinets are just a testament to that. Um, I really love this mirrored headboard it kind of brings you a little extra room in the bedroom. You'll notice we have cross ventilation on both sides with MCD day and night shades. Uh, they're just pull down and drop and um, really really great place for uh, you know an evening with some privacy you've got two USB ports here, a nice place to keep a few water bottles, maybe a magazine, whatever it is that you might be reading uh, while you're in motion so it won't go flying around. And you've got one of these on each side. And one of the things that's so nice about this model is for those of you that are using a CPAP machine, um, I sold a King Air to a cardiologist and he said, Katie, please stop telling people to put the CPAP machine above their bed. It should be at heart level or lower. Uh, so for those of you who are using one and you'd like to entertain the thought of getting a Numar, uh, you've got room over here on both the left and right hand side of the bed and there's even more room over here on the right side. So for those of you who would like to be able to plug in a CPAP machine, you've got plenty of room down there, a lot of extra space. Now you'll notice I have one of the inserts in today. This is the second insert for the kitchen table along with the two extra chairs. So this coach is really, really comfortable for a couple and if you wanted to have friends over for dinner you would have plenty of dining room and if you wanted to have someone spend the night that 87 inch long couch is pretty fantastic. Uh, one of the things that's great about this RV is the layout so uh, first and foremost uh, Bob got just about everything you can think of on this coach. We have this really nice uh, optional safe so for those of you who haven't seen this there's plenty of room you know for your stacks of money uh, and maybe all your diamonds and some gold. So lots and lots of room there and you're safe. And then down here, I'm going to move out of your way, but just to give you an idea, this big, this big case of books is down here in this cabinet. There is a cavernous amount of storage down there as well, which is super nice. 
And then I do have one of the LED lights illuminated. And so just to show you how much hanging space you have in here. So a big, big, big closet. And one of the things that's interesting about Numar, you know, we, in doing our research, had to actually call up and talk to Natalie uh, because we could only get the uh, continuous hot water with the Oasis system in an all-electric coach on a certain few floor plans. So uh, out of the 34-foot 30 models, um, this floor plan has allowed us to have eight AGM batteries, um, a 2800 uh, pure sign inverter, um, so a ton, a ton of, of power. Uh, we are going to do a dealer installed set of 170 watt solar panels. We'll actually have room for four of those on the roof of this coach. So super nice. Uh, we've outfitted this with the uh, optional Swindeed washer and dryer. Um, but just this is just a really, really spectacular layout. And uh, this coach is hydronic, so there's no propane on board, giving you uh, both extra storage and then with all of that solar, so much more uh, capacity to go out and boondock, which is what so many people want to do these days. And if you just take a look at how much room we have in these drawers, these are just all nice, full extension, beautiful, hard maple wood finish drawers. Lots and lots of room. An emergency exit here. Of course, you've got your big smart TV. So all of these TVs are smart TVs these days. Uh, and what's nice about this is we're going to go ahead and add here at the dealership a 5K cradle point system so really crazy amounts of bandwidth coming through. So if you'd like to be able to download or stream movies, really easy to do here. You don't actually need a Blu-ray player. Uh, you don't even really need satellite, although this is equipped with the DISH satellite system and also the Razer antenna. So all of those optional features coupled with that uh, dealer installed um, cradle point system, the dealer installed solar panels, we're going to have 700 watts of solar on this coach by the time we get done, which is just a fantastic amount. Um, so really, really nice uh, layout here. And then, of course, as you know, just as you've noticed as we've gone through this, all of these cabinets are carpet lined, so you're not going to get those rattles going down the road, which is really, really nice. Uh, Jody, I'm going to ask you to step into the hall. I'm going to go ahead and close this bedroom up. Now, you'll notice when I bring this bed in, we're still going to have a lot of room, and that's because this entire carpeted area that I'm standing on with my left foot here is part of the full wall slide. So the entire uh, driver's side of this coach slides out, giving you a huge living space in this uh, in this RV. And I really like to be able to show you the walking space in this RV as well because it's very, very generous. Now, a few of the extra items that we opted for, we also opted for not only the Oasis dual loop Chinook system, giving us hydronic heat throughout the, uh, throughout the coach. We've also opted for the central vac. So we have um, both our kick plate here as well as our attachment plate for our hoses. So you know, no need to carry a washer and dryer with you. Uh, I did wanted to show you how nicely this room closes off for privacy. So plenty of uh, privacy, nice solid wood doors. So, and they're, and they're nicely finished so that you're gonna have a really um, nice barrier if you've got company, maybe you're gonna go to bed a little bit earlier. Um, and even though we have this 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator, which is the optional refrigerator uh, that's absolutely huge, we also have a really generous pantry. All of these um, full extension uh, cabinets are just so luxurious because you can get everything all the way into the back of them and they're adjustable, which is so nice. So depending on what you're putting in them, you've got six different drawers that you can use at any height and carry anything that you need to uh, while you're camping. So once again, generous space, very residential, a lot of room on this RV. Um, again, this is the 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator, so really big residential refrigerator. I love these little details like this, um, t this little uh, tray that moves down. So if you've got a taller item, you've got more room. There's a water dispenser, of course. Um, you've got a large vegetable tray large fruit tray as well. They're adjustable, so you've got the humidity adjustments. And then a great place to keep all of the, you know, bacon and cheeses and meats and stuff for your cold cuts and your camping trip. Or heck, you could just be living somewhere else. I mean, really kind of up to you at this point. Um, we do have the ice maker as well as a very generous um, drawer down here at the bottom. And, you know, like I said, this is just a huge victory for Trans West because um, a lot of people are looking for a diesel pusher 
that's under 35 feet. So this coach comes in at 34 feet, 10 inches long. There are three offerings, but to be able to get the 360 uh, degree camera, to be able to get that 800 foot pounds of torque, that 6.7 liter ISB Cummins in a really compact package is something that's so high, highly requested. And we're constantly telling people, oh yeah, I mean, that's like a needle in a haystack. Well, here's the unicorn. Um, so you can actually be very successful. The turnaround time on this is not bad. Uh, Bob and I started working on this. Initially, we were on a Bay Star, then we kind of looked at the Canyon Star. And then after learning about comfort drive and then some of the other features like the all hydronic heat um, as opposed to having propane um, and understanding kind of what you get with having a diesel pusher, you know, the quiet ride up front, uh, the generator being put at the front of the coach as opposed to any of the side bays. There were so many benefits that we went ahead and upgraded into the Ventana. So this is a really one of the first 35 foot, if you want to round up, uh, RVs that you'll find available in the marketplace with this um, diesel powerhouse. And just in driving it this morning, um, I'd like to tell you the turning radius is incredible. So very, very nimble, very, very compact, very fantastic and highly equipped vehicle uh, available on the market. And like I said, there are three models here. Uh, not all of them are available in hydronic heat, so it's very important to link up with a sales guide that can kind of help guide you through this. Um, but just to kind of list through some of the options that we have. Uh, we have the optional two Nova slide awnings. We have the optional kitchen window. If you look here, one of the nice things, I have a Superstar myself. It has a small window. I love that in this Ventana, you get the really big kitchen window. Uh, we opted for the carefree awning package. So if you look at this right window over here, Jody, where the TV would normally be, you'll notice that there's an awning that's keeping the, sh keeping the sun out of the coach during the day. So if you are boondocking in the desert in a warm climate, you've got these additional awnings. There's also one on this side and then there's another one in the bedroom. But it's just so nice to have this extra coverage. Um, chrome power baggage door locks. So this coach does have an automatic lock feature when you engage it into drive. All of your bay doors lock. That's just really cool. I know we all check them when we go around, but you don't have to go through with a key and lock and unlock each and every one of them. They're all going to lock automatically as soon as you put the coach into drive or there's a remote or a button at the door that you can use. Uh, we also added a hot water line to the generator. Uh, we have the optional uh, 110 volt heat pads. So this coach is very much an all season coach. With that dual, uh, dual loop system by Oasis, uh, what you get in that Chinook is you get this kind of a uh, cool line of antifreeze that's going underneath. It's got hydronic fluid in it. And that antifreeze is heated by your tankless hot water heater, which is your Chinook system. And then the air is pushed over that uh, system. So not only do you have two 15,000 BTU uh, air conditioners on here with heat pumps, you have hydronic heat, which is really gonna be fantastic. So this system has an AC1, or AC2 setting where you can run the heat when you're plugged in at a park off a of 50 amp. But if you're not and you want to be warm and you don't want to have a lot of noise, the Chinook system is fantastic. And it's so amazing to be able to get something like that on a little coach like this. Um, so uh, let's see, we got, we covered that. Okay, oh, well, we'll go to the shower seat in just a moment. We'll go into this nice bathroom. The bathroom is really fantastic. It has one of the larger showers. It's actually, um, really roomy, which is fantastic. I mean, one of the things I like about the Numar line is that I can get away from those 35 inch radius showers and they're not bad. I mean, there are plenty of room. We've got the skylights overhead most of the time. So you've got, you know, enough room, but the square, the square shower with a seat on it really kind of opens it up for a little extra room in the bathroom. Um, so we have the, la we have the rear ladder. We have the solar prep. We've talked about that. Um, we've talked about the washer and dryer. Um, and then one of the things I'd like to mention is that we have something on this coach called a universal toll module. And a lot of people look at that option and they go, well, what is that? Well, what it is, is it basically takes all of your information. So when you're traveling across the country and you're using those toll roads, it's going to send it to a centralized location. So you don't have to worry about being remiss on a bill that, you know, maybe didn't make it to your mailing address. That way you've got everything kind of coming into one area. It's just a nice feature. Um, so. The Bermuda Glaze Maple um, Hardwood Finish, we talked about that with matte finish. Uh, what we haven't talked about though is this Belmont interior. So this Belmont interior is an interior that has really, really stood the test of time for Newmar. Everybody loves this really nice taupe or putty colored couch. 
it's a little bit darker uh, but not too dark and it's just going to hold soil really well um, the other thing that we opted for here was the ottomans so as you can see here while you're watching tv if you wanted to have your feet up um, you could do that you've got a lot of storage here in these little ottomans all of this villa furniture is really really beautiful but you can have a more cushiony effect if you wanted to do that um, or you could have a table in which you could actually eat so that's really really nice as well um, now we talked a little bit about this bathroom but let's go ahead and take a look at it because um, this has got a 40 by 32 shower uh, so this is a really really big shower and what's nice about that oh i have the fan on so let's go ahead and turn that off um, so what's nice about this shower though is that we have again this teak bench which is just going to give me a whole lot of extra room to be able to sit down and shave my legs so this is a great amount of space and then you see we have a rain head shower head up above here uh, and down below the rain head shower head a really nice shelf to keep all of our toiletries and then we've got this other adjustable uh, wand so you can use that to shower off and then here you'll see the aqua view system so what's really nice about this is i have um, 105 gallons of fresh water on this coach and that's a huge amount of water one of the main benefits that you'll have in a class a over let's say like a winnebago uh, navion is going to be water capacity so 105 gallons of fresh water is an amazing amount of water uh, but gray water is a big deal too so what's nice about this is even though you only have a 75 gallon gray water tank if you turn your aquaview system on it will recycle the water until it heats up that hydronic heat is very efficient and as soon as it starts getting hot you can turn it back off and then get into the shower what that's doing is it's actually recycling that clean water back into the tank until the water's hot after the water's hot you turn it back off and then you get into the shower so you are able to get your hot water uh, up to temperature without filling up your gray water tank which is super nice um, another nice feature here is on this floor plan you have you know of course first of all this very nice dometic porcelain po potty so just you know if anyone hasn't mentioned that's a nice feature to have but it comes standard with this egress door and what's nice about these egress doors is that you can use these to actually load your coach so if you've got a whole bunch of stuff you want to bring in and out whether it be linens um, you know, it, groceries, anything along those lines, you can. If there's an emergency, you can pull this little metal latch. There's a ladder here behind. I don't know, can you see that, Jody? I don't want to drop this little cover. Um, but that ladder is really nice because it's after it's deployed, you can actually put it back into place. Um, but super cool that you can actually, you know, first of all, have an escape mechanism, but also just a nice place where you don't have to go up and down the stairs. You can hand someone a whole bunch of stuff. And then take a look at all of this storage here. So huge, huge drawer storage. And of course, as you'll notice, these are all soft closed drawers, a ton of cabinet space in here as well. And then look at the size of this medicine cabinet. And I love these lights. These lights are so beautiful. It's so funny because I'm looking at this light right now and I'm pretty sure I might've ordered one just like that for my guest bedroom in the house that I'm building. It seems to me that between the induction cooktop the lights, uh, the, the cabinets. I mean, a lot of the things that I'm doing in my new home, I'm modeling after Newmar because they do such a fantastic job. And then here, so smart. Look at how much room you have for linens. And then your toilet paper dispenser is here, which I just love. Out of the way, you're not gonna bonk your leg on it or get one of those nasty bruises. And then if you'll notice this doorway, what's so cool about this, this doorway allows me to be able to enter and exit the restroom while the coach is in motion. And we'll, we'll take a look at that in a little bit. No now, question. oh, it sounds like we have a question. Go ahead. Stuart wants to know which is better, a Freightliner or Spartan chassis? Oh, hi, Stuart. Uh, so Stuart's asking what would be preferred, a Freightliner or a Spartan chassis. Um, to be very candid with you, Stuart, on a longer coach, I think Spartan does a fantastic job, but on a more petite coach, I don't think that there's a huge advantage between one or the other. It really comes down to customer preference. Uh, one of the benefits you're going to have with Freightliners, they're going to have things like brake sync. Uh, they're going to have things like V-Ride. There's a lot of standard features that you'll get in a Freightliner chassis uh, that are really, really nice and maybe a little larger breadth of service centers that you can go to. There's a lot of Freightliner support out there in the world. Uh, so if I was gonna build a coach that was 45 feet long, 
I might consider the Spartan chassis, but if I was going to go with something that's any anywhere under 43 feet, I'd probably stick with Freightliner, just due to all the standard features. And to be honest with you, at this point in the game, you know, back in the day, Spartan used to make chassis that were very much specific to RVing, but right now, Freightliner's custom chassis are very much also specific to RVing. And this coach has a really nice support system that comes standard in the Freightliner level. Um, and that brake sync, just so you know uh, why I'm so interested in that, is it's an airline that's integrated under the coach. And I know we talked about quality inside and out, uh, but what happens is it actually has a separate tank that's charged, so full of air. So if you were to ever have an issue where you lost uh, power to your brakes or you lost air to your brakes, the brakes would automatically stop. But the coach uh, or the, but the vehicle that you're trailering would not. You would still need to have something to put the brakes on on that coach. And so Brake Sync does that for you. Uh, and then V-Ride is another really important feature. What V-Ride does is it basically kind of wishbones your suspension out and it allows it to keep your coach feeling more upright. So that in combination with Comfort Drive make Numar's Ventana one of the best driving coaches available on the market. Uh, so like I, you know, like I said, it's really gonna come down to do you prefer Chevy to Ford? At the end of the day, the comparison of both of those vehicles is very, very much according to your preference level. I'm sure that everybody's like, oh yeah, that one's the only one I'd ever consider. So if you don't have that feeling and you don't spend the extra money on the Spartan chassis, I think that you could put that towards uh, something else like maybe heated floors or the hydronic system and just stick with Freightliner without really losing too much value at all. Uh, so I guess my answer is Freightliner for the money. Um, thank you for tuning in, Stuart. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Uh, that was very useful. Okay, so in this coach, we opted to have um, the drawers. You could opt for a washer, a dishwasher, but as you can see, you get so much nice drawer space. And if you look at how big these full extension drawers are, this is the sink cover, just to give you some reference. They're just huge, huge drawers. Um, and then, oh, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about. So this is um, special paint. So we've got all of these colors and these all of these paints here. So what we decided on this coach was we really liked the general idea of the color of the exterior, but the red wasn't quite what we wanted it. Uh, so Bob and I, we sat down with a color palette and put together exactly what he wanted his RV to look like. So when we get outside, or if you saw that beauty shot is what we call it, uh, when you were on your way in, this coach has a special paint color uh, that's really been custom ordered along with everything else in this RV to make everything perfect. Now we do always show off and talk about the fact that we have these nice uh, covers uh, with cutting boards over this true induction cooktop. Um, I'm a huge fan of the true induction. One of the nice things about it is it's so fast to heat up. Um, and not only that, by having a removable cooktop, you can actually take this in and out of your coach and you can use the same dishes without having to have a second set of dishes that you might use over a Coleman open, open flame. Um, and you also get a really consistent level of heat. So this operates, I use an all clad copper core pan. Uh, it heats up all the way to the edges of the pan uh, very efficiently, very quickly. And what's nice about it is I can set it for either like 350 degrees or I can set it one through five and I get to that exact temperature regardless of altitude because I'm not dealing with a gas burning stove. So I'm dealing with an electric stove that's just functioning magnetically with these pots and pans, getting my temperature exactly where I like it so I can be really precise in my cooking. Um, now, tons of counter space here. And then of course we have our Whirlpool. Uh, this is both a microwave and a convection oven. So you can bake cookies in here. You could also microwave a burrito, um, defrost chicken, anything like that that you need to do while you're on the road. And then tons of storage again up here. And again, you'll see it says Ventana special here. Those are all the color codes. So if you ever needed to get, order some touch up paint, Numar makes it really easy for you. And we'll just open up this other one so you can see that there's two entrances into that same cabinet area. Um, I really love this beautiful faucet. Uh, this residential style dual basin sink is really, really nice. Um, when you're on the road and you're trying to conserve water, it's very handy to be able to put 
like a small amount of sudsy water on one side to wash and then you can rinse on the other side just conserving again gray water if you are out camping and then of course my favorite feature is the scrubby drawer i always talk about that and then again all of these really nice full extension drawers i mean you just have so much storage in this coach to be honest with you i think you would be really hard pressed to use it all um i'm sure there's a few people out there going oh i could use it all but i mean it's really impressive and then underneath a huge amount of storage under the sink and then a really nice little compartment just for your trash can and then again another scrubby drawer so super super cool maybe you keep your outdoor scrubby for your uh you know picnic table in there and you keep the one for inside here um okay so covered that uh, we didn't talk about the fact that this is a uh, 360 horsepower engine um, 360 horsepower is not the big deal. The big deal here is going to be that you've got a turbo diesel injected, uh, 800 foot pound torque engine. So a lot of, a lot of torque and where that's going to benefit you is you've got a 10,000 pound towing capacity. So I know we talked about that towed earlier. Uh, so keep in mind, this can come out even further. Um, so I have an extra, um, uh Oh, did I do it went too far. I did. Um, I have an extra leaf that I could actually load up here so I could have even more space at this table. And I don't know where I came out, but I heard something come out. So I'm gonna make sure I get this back in so I can show you how this closes. There it is, okay. So really, really nice amount of room. And then this can slide all the way in here while I'm in travel. So if I don't wanna put the leaf in, one of the things that's nice about this kitchenette is Look at the amount of room I have here on my buffet. I mean, if I was to have a party, I could really put out a full platter, guacamole, chips, the works, drinks. I mean, this is a great coach for entertaining, uh, which is so very nice. And then I want to show you, this is just kind of mind boggling. So we order these RVs and I have not been able to find uh, this model or this floor plan uh, online. I haven't been able to find any videos of it so I'm really excited about today's video because when I got inside of here look at all of this cabinet space it is incredible so you have all these like short little cabinets here big big drawers but look at all of this cabinet space and the funny thing is, is it doesn't just stop here I mean the cabinet space is even over here underneath the buffet I mean, it is just insane. So for anybody who wanted to be able to work on the road, this would give you so much room to keep a computer, a printer. Um, you could really keep your office here. So for anyone who's looking for a petite coach with a lot of flexibility, man, oh man, talk about a lot of room. So I'm really, really in love with the floor plan. Um, so excited when Bob wanted to order this. And honestly, we were thinking of another coach, but when we asked if we could turn it into hydronic, we had to call Natalie and say, why can't we make this coach hydronic? And she said, Katie, it's because the Star Foundation only permits certain coaches to be uh, hydronic heat because of the way the weight has to be distributed. So what's really nice to know is that Numar isn't just thinking about the engineering in terms of like what's comfortable. They're thinking about the way the coach is engineered at the subfloor so that it's going to have the best weight rating, the most balance going down the road. I mean, it's a, the attention to detail through our engineering department is fantastic. Um, so I know I always open everything for everyone. It's really important to see like how much room you would have for board games. Uh, you could get your cribbage board in there. Uh, everything is wired with the HDMI cable so that you can uh, put your, uh, if you wanted to do a Blu-ray player, you could do that. There's plenty of outlets back here as well. Um, and then once again, we talked about a computer. You could do a computer. Uh, the TV, again, is a smart TV. And then I wanted to show this couch deployed because an 87 inch high to bed couch is just awesome. I mean, who would think that you would have so much room? And while I'm doing this, I am putting this uh, television down just so you can see how much visibility you have out both uh, the passenger and driver side. I'm gonna wait for it just to go a little bit further so I can get my cushion up here. 
So when I took a look at this earlier today, I was absolutely stunned at how much room was in here. But as everyone knows, I love cushions that stick together because you can stack them really easily. But what's super nice about this buffet is I can stack all of my cushions really easily right over here out of the way. So I actually have some room, which is cool because these are big cushions. This is, by the way, if uh, anyone wants to know, a super duper duper comfy couch. Super duper comfy. Okay, so um, I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, those ottomans are definitely going to be in the way. They're actually not, and neither are the chairs, because there's actually a really cool way that they did this couch. And again, these are first for all of us. Here we go. Um, when I found this couch this morning, I had never seen it before, so was really impressed at the format because I was like, how are they going to turn this into a bed? Because I was imagining it coming out long ways, but it's actually sideways and it is so incredibly comfortable. I mean, I know that we're selling things. We say stuff. Um, I try to be very honest. This is a super comfortable bed. So if you wanted to bring a friend or a couple uh, and let them have a great place to sleep in your coach, this is the way to go. If you don't want to bring friends or couples, don't tell them about this couch because they'll want to hang out with you all the time. It's super, super comfy, really easy to put away, uh, no inflation required. And then just so you know, we do have uh, three seat belts back here as well. So you can actually seat five in this coach. So very, very cool. And then this just covers up like this. And I'll put all my couches or my cushions back. Right, Bob is coming in to see this RV today. I didn't, okay, Bob, when you watch this video, okay, it came in yesterday. I wanted to surprise you. So hopefully you're not tuning in right now and watching the video on your RV. And when you get here at two o'clock, it'll be a surprise. <laughs> but I don't know. I just thought it'd be so much fun to get out here and to see it just sitting out in all of its glory in the parking lot, um, waiting for you um, after all of these months. And when I say all of these months, I want to say we ordered it in September or August. I think September, um, but that's the thing that's really important to understand is, is that upside down? Um, you know, it doesn't take that long to get these RVs in. Um, you really, really, what do we think? I think middle, left, yeah. Jody's my interior decorator. What do we think, Jody? Does that look right? Okay. So, um, you know, for those of us who don't have any patience and we have to have something right now, it's a tough market. But really, if you've got a game plan, uh, April 27th, we're having the new Mar dealer meeting. They will be giving us all of their allocation. I can take your order to the meeting and have it filled at the meeting and you can get one of the very first runs of production. If you're waiting to see what's out there, one of the things to be cautioned is you'll probably be reproduced in quarter two. Quarter one production is going to be assigned at Newmar on April 27th. So if you're interested in getting a coach on order early, give me a call. I can do that. I've got, uh, I've got four orders in for 2023 so far that we will be taking to the meeting and having filled at the meeting. Okay, so let's show this. So one of the things that's really crazy about this coach because I know we talked about this, but this is a, a, tri a triple slide. So um, one of the things that makes this room so incredibly huge and so comfortable, and Jody, yeah, if you would take a, just a long shot of, I mean, this is a huge space. I mean, this feels like an apartment in here. Um, so one of the things that makes this all possible is the fact that we have 
a full wall side coming in this way and then we also have this mid side here as well so I want to show us what this looks like um, and for those of you who tune in and watch my videos I forget to put the slides in a lot make sure I got the seat up far enough oh and I didn't turn this, the seats around I probably should have done that but that's okay So I do forget to put the slides in from time to time, but today I remembered, so we're doing good. Um, for those of you who haven't tuned in before, I'm really nice, but I am a little dingy, and these are live, and it's a lot to remember. Um, I take really good notes. I order a ton of Numars. Um, I've got three coaches that, that just came in yesterday, um, so I love special orders. It's so fun to let people know that their RV has finally gotten in. Um, and it's even more rewarding to have it come in and to turn out as well as this RV did, because this is just perfect. So we're just about here. And Jody, you can just slow this slide mechanism. What's so cool about this is this just locks into place right here. So I don't actually have to worry about using a slide lock uh, because it locks into place. And then here I'm going to put my chairs in, but I really want to show you um, how much room. Now, of course, you could opt to put these wherever you'd like. I would probably put them sideways on the bed in the back, personally, and get them out of here. But look at this room. So, so much room in this kitchen, and then full access into my bathroom while I'm on the road. So really, really, really nice amount of space. And again, this is the 3407. And I've never seen one. I mean, this is just such a great, great floor plan. Um, now just so you know, this does pop down so you can service your own filters up above, which is really nice too. Um, okay, we talked about the 87 inch hide of bed, the kitchen window, the Chinook system. Ooh, let's go to the front. Let's go to the nav and go and let's go to the camera system, Jody. And then we'll show the step cover. Uh, this does also have the optional Nova slide awnings. I'm gonna see if I can get the awnings out. It's a little breezy, we have a storm coming in today. So just up here so you can see, really cool, we've got our tanks. You can see the house is charging right now. I've got the generator running. Uh, by the way, that's how quiet the generator is. You probably didn't even know it was on. Um, and then you also have your HVAC system here. So you've got all your temperatures. Um, and then here you've also got your powerhouse, just showing you what's going on here. Again, we are going to add four solar panels to this unit. Uh, we talked a little bit about this Oasis system. So you can turn your AC heat on AC1, on AC2, or you can just have it off in the middle. Your burner heat is going to be your hydronic system. You turn that on there. This is going to be the hottest form of uh, heat and also hot water. And this, to be honest with you, I've been running my um, Venton. So I have a Superstar, which is the same as a Ventana technically. Um, I've been running mine on AC2 during the winter and keeping it above temperature perfectly fine. Um, and then it's really nice too, tier two, where we also have, we've gone to an electric menu so you can see all of your input systems here. Uh, here's your slide control. And then this is just telling you what's going on with your generator and all of your loads. Again, this has got a big inverter on it. That was a big deal to Bob. We've got the Razor antenna and then our Gerard awnings. I'm going to see if I push them out if by the time we get outside they're still on. Uh, this awning control is for the one above the door. Um, I'm gonna sit down here and just briefly talk to you about some of the stuff that we see up here. I am gonna turn my generator off. I just hit stop right here. Um, here's our radio system. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the coach on. I wanna show you this glass dash, it's really nice. Lots of, uh, lots of visibility here. So really huge upgrade for us here to have all of these digital uh, dash settings. Um, and one of the things that's super nice about this is I can go here into this menu and I can go down and I can choose to go into here where it says um, vehicle configuration. And this is really cool because here I can set it to metric or I can set it to miles and then I can change my steering effort. So this is comfort drive. So for me, comfort drive is probably the most important thing that I don't have on my Superstar. So 
between the Ventana and the Superstar, you've got a very equally equipped and option, optioned product. Uh, the difference though, this coach, if I have my, my wheel turned and I'm driving down the road, it has comfort drive and it will actually keep my wheel going straight so that while I'm driving, I don't have to fight the wind. Um, so when you are driving a huge um, unaerodynamic brick through the stratosphere, down Highway 80, across you know the 101, wherever it may be, and there's a crosswind, this coach is fighting it for you. So you're not gonna get that Popeye muscle on one side. This coach is gonna do all of that work for you. And that's a really, really big deal. So that's set here on our digital dash. I can turn it up so I can have more comfort drive or less. So I don't have to have it interfering with my steering effort if I don't want it to. I love that you have a digital speedometer right there. You can also tell that we've got a full tank of gas. Um, just really, really nice control center here. Um, and then of course we have our Bluetooth, which is you know a really nice new feature. All of these things uh, that you have um, on your dash, of course, are so um, recent. You know the RV industry tends to lag the car industry. But this digital, out, out, uh, digital display has really brought us up to date. Um, we've got really nice dash air up front. Here's your headlight control. Uh, your chrome mirrors are heated and they are power as well. So that's super nice. Um, <laughs> air horn, if you'd like to turn that off, you can. A little beeper. And then um, let's talk a little bit about leveling systems. So one of the things that's really nice about this is that we have our, um, our equalizer leveling system right here. So when you pull up to your campsite, you can go ahead and turn it on and just hit auto level and it will all go down. So you don't have to mess with you know individual settings and then all retract gets you on your way, but it's right next to you so that you know when you're heading out that you remember to pull your jacks up. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about here is our camera control. So this 360 degree camera is so important. As you can see, we're looking at the rear right here. You can kind of see that optional ladder that we have on the back. Um, but this is so nice if you're gonna be pulling over a flower pot maybe right here when you're pulling in, you know to watch out for it because you're looking at that system. And then over here, you've got this full-time Voyager system, which is gonna be showing you what's going on behind you as well. So really, really a nice camera system available as an optional feature and big drawer storage down here if you're keeping a leash maybe uh, some uh, your cell phone whatever that might be and then let's go ahead and i'm going to turn this bad boy off but let's take a look at the step cover because if you do have a fine furry friend traveling with you you can put them right underneath and then close the drawer and they'll leave you alone the whole trip no i'm just kidding don't put your cat underneath the step cover um Really great place. You don't have to worry about Fido falling down the stairwell while you're in motion. It also makes it comfortable if you're not going to be using your recliner for your feet to rest on. So we love that. And then I am going to show some of this overhead storage because we have a lot of overhead storage. I don't know if I talked about the sound bar, but I love the sound bar that Numar gives you. And then here's all of your uh, fuses. Your breakers, everything is centralized, really easy to access. And I think that Numar just does a really good job at finish here, which is super nice. Um, we also have big, big, big driver's windows. So if you've got to get through those tools and uh, hand something over, you can. Like I said earlier, this coach is actually really nice in that it has the universal toll module. So you don't really have to worry about those tolls. You can just drive straight through because you will be able to scan. Um, so power mirrors with defrost. Okay, so multi-level um, multi heated and insulated floor. One of the things that's really differentiating with Numar is gonna be the fact that this entire tile floor that you see below my feet has been assembled on a heated table that allows this tile to cure really, really uh, well. And then they take the table and they've already constructed the, the star foundation. They've already put in the base floor. They take, this, they take this tile floor and they move it over on top of the coach. So you don't get that flexing or tile popping. You're gonna have a much, much newer looking, better looking RV for the long haul. And I can't tell you, um, if you haven't had a chance to take a look at an older Numar, I dare you to walk into an older Numar. They look fantastic. You don't see the kind of wear and tear that you find in other manufacturers. Uh, so Jody, if you'll head on out, I'm going to show us 
underneath uh, the steps, a great place to keep your puppy food and maybe some leashes or maybe just bug spray and uh, scent hand lotion, whatever it might be that you like. Um, so first and foremost, if you have fine furry friends, this is an awesome place to keep dog food. It's got a ton of storage room and then you can keep your little dishes right here. And then just over here to the left, we have our power locks. And I'm gonna go ahead and scoosh out so you can get over there. But that's what allows us to lock and unlock all of our baggage doors remotely without having to take a key to each and every one of them. Another really nice feature on this RV is gonna be this screen door. Uh, one of the things that's nice is that this screen here actually has a snap and can open all the way to the top. So if you wanted to be able to bring something over and hand it to your uh, significant other or friend so that the, the flying furry pets don't go flying out the door and running away, you've got a nice way you can load not only through the egress door, but here as well. And then here's a really big deal. Um, having a uh, keypad so you don't need to bring your keys with you as well as that doorbell is so incredibly nice. So we just love that. Um, and our awnings did not stay out. So our Gerard awnings, uh, our Nova awning package is LED lit and there's two of them. So depending on your campsite, if you wanted to be able to um, deploy just one or the other, you could do that. Uh, you'll see we have our standard feature, our lane uh, changing cameras here. So you've got your bullet cameras on the side. Uh, fuel right here up front. Uh, this coach has a 10 gallon def tank and a 100 gallon fuel capacity. And look at the size of this bay. Huge, huge size. Lots and lots of room. Um, I like the way that these doors uh, here open long ways as opposed to up. You'll notice we do give you some extra tile. Uh, there's also your hose attachments and your airline attachments and then your inner back exterior attachment right here. So this is where you could actually uh, go ahead and run your vacuum cleaner. Uh, this little hook here is for the uh, carefree awning package which we have deployed and that's these awnings out here so these are going to be a little more wind resistant because they're manual which is super nice uh, right here above the tv is where that awning is that or that egress door is and then here's one of your overhead cameras so when you saw that bird's eye view from above that's coming from there um, but i really really like the fact that you have a really nice bose sound bar out here another huge tv and this is great because this keeps you shaded and if you're sitting out there watching the game in a lawn chair it's exactly the height that you would want to have it um, of course these michelins are 22 and a half inches uh, in diameter so really big rear set of uh, wheels back here a total of six if you move up into our 40 foot chassis uh, you will get a tag on the ventana if you do not have a 40 foot chassis you will be a single rear axle um, another huge amount of room back here as well. And Newmar did a really good job. We had a lot of trouble closing our doors before. The, the, the insulation was just a little too thick. Uh, so they've adjusted that and it's been much easier to use. Uh, so here's your chassis batteries. Of course you have an all off switch for your chassis. Uh, the all on switch was next to the power door locks in the front for the house. And then back here is your Oasis. Uh, if you tell me that you uh, watched this video and then I said I would give you a free, uh, you know, I, I think five gallon container of Oasis juice, uh, I will. So I have a lot of clients that will come in and be like, I watched your video, I want my free Oasis juice. The reason it's important if you have hydronic heat to have that hydronic fluid is they can get it to you. But if you're camping out in the middle of the sequoias, it's going to be pretty tough for Amazon to bring you. Uh, that liquid when you need it and you won't have hot water or heat without it so definitely want to make sure you keep that on hand um, so here's our powerhouse as you can see right here we got the radiator in the back I would normally access this here but because of the fact that I have my ladder um, I would have to remove that to open it it's really easy to remove the ladder you just push these little buttons and it pops right out on each side um, but given the length of these videos it's just not necessary for today uh, another one of these cameras for the overhead and then there's your rear view backup camera and as you can see here's that brake sink that airline we talked about that really makes this that so you just really have a lot less to think about when you're having your uh, your tow vehicle and uh, set up 
just need a little adapter there, that Freightliner comes standard. And then there's your connector. And again, we have a 10,000 pound towing capacity on this coach. So that would be uh, for, uh, for towing a car, a trailer capacity would be a 5,000 pound towing capacity with a 500 uh, downward weight. And then over here, looks like we've got our block heater plugged in, which I guess could be good because uh, I heard it might snow tomorrow. Welcome to Colorado. <laughs> uh, here is our 50 foot power cord reel. Uh, super nice. Also, we have um, our surge protector and that is an optional feature as well. That's nice to have a power cord that is uh, um, retracted by the touch of a button as opposed to having to bring it in by hand. Keeps your hands a little less dirty. Here's that 10 gallon DEF tank. Looks like we owe Bob some DEF fluid. Uh, when, you come to Col when you come to Colorado to pick up your coach, um, Jody, would you mind just panning past the video van over here into our campground? So we have 50 amp power in a campground right here on site. And what's really nice about that is when you come here to pick up your RV, you get to come in and you can actually set up, plug into 50 amp, get your sea legs on, transfer all of your things over from your old RV into your new one. It's a really, really huge advantage to a client that needs to move into their coach. Oh, we have a question. Fred wants to know what's on the roof. Fred, what is on the roof? Um, so right now there's not a lot going on the roof. You've got your two air conditioners, uh, but we did check with Newmar to verify that we would have room for four 170 watt solar panels. Those will be on there in the future. Um, and then of course we have that ladder access. I want you to understand if you buy a Dutch Star or a King Air or an Essex or a London Air, we don't have ladders. We really would recommend that you leave that um, that roof area to the mechanics to work on. Uh, there is a very nice gutter system that actually channels in all of the rain um, or any kind of moisture so that it, dri it drips off uh, in a controlled area as opposed to just down the sides of the coach so you don't get those ugly uh, water marks. Uh, but right now uh, there's a big roof and it actually it's kind of sunk in. And what's nice about that is uh, your roof line is looking very, very level at that 13 feet, one inches. It doesn't really fluctuate because of the fact that you have those sides built up and everything is underneath that kind of that gap that's about this big on top. I know that um, Avin has gotten his drone certification, so maybe uh, in the future, Fred, we will get you a uh, overhead shot of what's on the roof. Um, if you look back, I have a few videos, like my superstar, um, is a white superstar. You can find it at TTTRV or, or at Arby's Inside Out. And that has a roof shot of the superstar, which is very similar to the Ventana. And you can kind of see how it's laid out up there. Um, but thank you for the questions. Have you got any others? Let me know. Okay, so just back to this, um, to this camping experience. So here's your water bay, hot and cold water outside with a shower head, really nice. A whole house water filter, also really nice. Um, as you can see, very, very clean, very well labeled uh, uh, sewer bay, power uh, fresh water hose as well for your water supply. So super cool. But you know, when you're getting used to your RV, it's nice to be able to be somewhere where you can kind of plug in, get moved in, and you're not taking delivery and then just driving off towards some random campsite. Uh, here at TransWest, we have that facility set up for you. Uh, we also have Freightliner, Spartan, and Daimler Elite on, on ground. So we are not only a house service center for Winnebago, Newmar and Renegade, as well as Emerald's Prevo line or Prevo's Emerald line. Uh, we are also certified at the chassis. So we have two facilities on site. You don't have to go anywhere for anything. Um, if you needed a body shop too, TransWest is a huge, huge company. We're only four of our stores are RV stores. We have 38 total facilities though. And one of those is a body shop um, and a paint shop. So if you need work done, this is a great dealership to be in league with. Um, so here's that Oasis system. Um, again, this is new for 2022. You get this dual loop system. It's kind of nice over here. You can see that LED light lighting up this cabinet. So you can see that you have really good visibility uh, in these bays. Just a really, really well executed job on Numar's part. Um, 
once again, those doors are so much easier. And then this is part of that uh, all electric package where we've got that enhanced uh, inverter and eight AGM batteries. I mean, this thing can really just get out on the road and stay out there for as long as you like. There's one of our carefree awnings up above us. Here's your other uh, fueling station. So again, a 100 gallon fuel tank, super nice there. And of course, this is where all the brains are. Most of us don't care about this. The technicians though love to see a bay like this. It's so well orchestrated, so clean, so tidy. Um, just a really good job on Newmar's part. And then here, underneath, did I get it? Oh, I thought I got it. Hold on, let me just open that up real quick. Sounds like it's open. Uh, so this is where your generator is. And one of the things that's super nice about this is when you have your generator up front like this, uh, it's not underneath your bed. So this is gonna be as far away from your sleeping area as possible. And the only time that that's really gonna be important is going to be if you have your air conditioning running while you're camping. But that's really, really nice to have. And then right over here, you'll see we also have this optional hot water line. And then here's your air line. So you could air up your tires if you needed to before you, you know, while you were out on the road. So again, this is just a fantastic offering by Newmar. This is the 3407 uh, Ventana. Uh, my name, of course, is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV, and I know I normally do my videos on Mondays, but this came in yesterday, and I wanted Bob to have a big surprise. Plus, I know that he's in a hurry to pick it up, so I've got to get it into the shop. Uh, my number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Thank you so much for tuning in and please let us know how we can get you out on the road and camping. Talk to you next time.